Climate Alarm is a Mazrich the new high with this article that will make Greta Sandberg blush and disavow it. Before we begin guys make sure to drop a like on this video, it helps a lot in terms of ranking in search and discovery. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the newest videos. Now if you ask me about climate change I'll say it's probably real, but to what extent I don't know. The subject is so highly politicized that a pleb like me could never analyze all the good studies and ignore the bad propaganda ones without becoming a climate expert myself and we have stories like this one to blame. The headline reads like somebody recruited Ali A so he can bring his Fortnite clickbait talent into the climate discussion. This headline is the reason why people don't believe in climate change or check out of the debate altogether and it feels like the alarmism is ramping up because nobody buys it so they have to double down with Fortnite on steroids levels of clickbait. Oceans are warming at the same rate as if 5 Hiroshima bombs were dropped in every second. This article is by Ivana Kotasova from CNN who is apparently a business and economy writer for CNN based in London. This is a little bit weird because this topic seems more of a fit for a weather or science category journalist but funnily enough the issue that is usually used as a weapon against the economy and to enforce regulation is now reported by an economy journalist. If I was the conspiratorial type this would be put into the evidence file. Now I want you guys to use your head a little bit and think about the effects of the Hiroshima bomb. An atomic bomb dropped during World War II that completely flattened an area, killed a lot of people and maimed a ton more with the radiation. The effects of the bomb are still felt through generations and this slimy propaganda organization is trying to evoke what happened after Hiroshima and use it to further their own narrative. Five atomic bombs in a second. Now usually a clickbait article is based on some truth or twisting of some fact to make it seem more sensational. But this is just wrong. False, fake news. Let's read the paragraph that explains it and you'll see why. Li Jing Cheng, the paper's lead author and an associate professor at the International Center for Climate and Environmental Science at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said the ocean temperature was 0.075 degrees Celsius above the 1981 to 2010 average in 2019. 0.075 is a really small number in terms of Celsius degrees and it's an average increase in 2019 compared to a 29 year average which is a weird comparison to make since one year can be a one time oddity or an anomaly so that's one of the tricks they used in this article. Let's also not skip the fact that this is a climate scientist from China a country that is the biggest polluter in the world. The reason China is the biggest polluter in the world is because they are a heavily industrialized economy that relies on zero regulations and if they push the climate change narrative enough they can get other countries like the US regulated and those regulations would give the Chinese economies and products a huge advantage in producing cheaper products to sell to the entire world and that would be a huge advantage over America and other modernized countries that have those regulations. Another question is, do you really find it hard to believe that a communist country like China would push out propaganda to further their own narrative and interests? The paper is by an associate professor at the International Center for Climate and Environmental Sciences at the Chinese Academy of Sciences and it's reported on by an economy journalist rather than a weather or a science journalist which is just weird. There are no reasonable alternatives aside from the human emissions of heat trapping gases to explain this heating, Chang said, adding that to reach this temperature the ocean would have taken in 
228 sextillion joules of heat. The Hiroshima atom bomb exploded with an energy of about 63 trillion joules of heat, Chang said. I did a calculation and the amount of heat we have to put in the world's ocean in the past 25 years equals to 3.6 billion Hiroshima atom bomb explosions, he added. There you go, now you can see the scientific sleight of hand they try to pull on you to make you believe we are throwing the equivalent of 5 atomic bombs into the ocean every 5 seconds. 3.6 billion atom bombs explosion in the past 25 years are ridiculous. If it's true then we're truly fucked and we can't do anything about it. If it's not true then it's the usual alarmist bullshit ramp up to the 10th level. It doesn't matter if you believe if this article is true or not. More people are checking out of this debate and ignore the climate change issue altogether because of the alarmist narrative or the fact that we are truly fucked already. Maybe the associate professor Cheng should talk to his government rather than going AOC on us with this 3.6 billion atomic bombs in 25 years scare. I wanna know the crazy leftist who reads this shit and feels validated about his alarmist narrative. It's not like CNN ever lied to us or made sensational headlines for political purposes or to increase their ratings. This is it for now guys, make sure to drop a like on this video and share it and tell me what do you think in the comments below. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new so you won't miss any of the videos in the future. See you in the next one.